so I was just thinking while I was doing this, um, this is pretty smooth now. I mean, it's got a little tiny lip. I mean, really, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. But you see, I didn't get epoxy into there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, once I get done smoothing everything out, I'll put another thing of epoxy right there. Um, but yeah, tip 17. Um, save your sawdust. You're gonna need it. So what I've been doing is I have one labeled fine sawdust and that comes from this guy and I got um, another can of sawdust which comes from my table saw. So I have two different kind of grades of sawdust. I don't really know if I need two different grades. It just, it just feels right. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just epoxy that. Give me a nice smooth seal and then I'll sand over that part. So I'm just gonna finish uh, fairing out everything here, smoothing out this, then I'll epoxy this. And just, I'll just thicken it up. And you, put a, you use a lot of this, which is amazing. Like, like this in equal amounts to the epoxy. And you make a paste out of it and I'll show you that in a second. So anyway, that's, because this actually feels pretty good. set so the tape doesn't get stuck and um, when it cures sand it flip it over to the other side so I'll just give you a final look looks a little rough but all right I'll, use, I'll sand all that down and then um, flip it over to the other side See you later. All right, so um, rather than mixing up the epoxy, because it was taking so much silica, and it was just a pain in the butt to get it to the right consistency. I went down to uh, West Marine, and they suggested I get, um, I can't show you now, because it's upside down, but uh, it's, a, it's a caulking epoxy, two-part epoxy, and it comes out like peanut butter, and so it's much easier to dispense. And you see, I kind of did this one already. Fair it out much better, because I'm not looking for strength, I'm just looking for fairing. Of course, you know, I always use more strength. But, um, so I got these done. It sets in 42 minutes based on temperature. So today, probably about a half hour for us. Um, but that'll be it. Once that's done, I'll sand them, flip them. I should be able to do the other side today. And um, well, I should start doing my, my, final, my final sizing of the seeding. So let's go. All right, morning. So today is fairing day. So I'm gonna, so, the bottom part is all dry, it's all epoxied. I re-epoxied the sides again to smooth all that out. And then here's the transom I did as well last year, yesterday. So everything's pretty much dry. 
So today I'm going to go ahead and uh, fair all the boards, making sure that everything is, you know, do all my double checks of all my, my, my sizing and make sure everything is sized properly, curves and everything is, you know, do double check on all the sides. Plus I'm going to fair this down, a lot of sanding. And um, hopefully that means if all works right, tomorrow I will be ready for assembly. So, um, or even later today. So anyway, that's it. Time to get to work. I don't know if it's actually necessary to wear this, but since I've been reading so much stuff about this stuff and because this dust does get in everything, I don't think I want plastic particulates in my lungs. So I'm going to put this on and get to work. And that is, so that's, um, that's C. So C just put 10 and three, 10, you say 13 feet and 10 and a half, what you said? Yeah, 10 and yeah. three quarters. Yeah, let's put that. Or 13 feet, three quarters. And then I need to... All right, so now B... Is that C? That was C. Okay. So now B, what would be B, the same thing. Take this in, around the, around the edge. <coughs> Wait. It all measured out. It all measured out within, well, it all measured out exactly within like a sixteenth of an inch. And the only thing it had is on the end, if I'm reading it right, we're, we're three quarters inch long, which is fine. This guy right here, and so that was from the scarfing we, uh, I mentioned. I found out, so I'm just gonna cut that off at the end and put it all together. Awesome. All right, so uh, I finished up with the with the ball bottom. That's how I work on the transom. Transom I already cut out. It was two pieces of plywood um, epoxy together, so I just epoxied them and thankfully I had a bunch of papers, bricks. So the ran out of clamps. Is it possible to have enough clamps? Uh, the answer is no. So uh, we got clamps and that's about, that's about 50, 60 pounds of weights on them. So anyway, that, with that sit, with that sit, and um, tomorrow I will. Uh, Later today, I'll fair everything out, start fairing things out, and cutting down to final size. And the plan is to assemble, which is um, tomorrow, probably tomorrow, maybe Saturday the latest, or two days the latest, which is pretty awesome because the first time I did this part, which I got not even quite as far as I've gotten today, um, it took me, what, two months. So obviously I've learned a lot, which is pretty cool. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you the transom. I said that'll be that'll be the ones that are I just finished it. Uh, that'll be good. I could crap of epoxy. It'll be a fifty dollars worth of epoxy. Anyway, that's it. And my helpers. All right. So I uh, this morning 
Did me another fairing, just some epoxying. Cut the holes out this morning with the jigsaw. That was really difficult. I have not done that before. <clears throat> but, so that part's done. Cut those out. Curve that part right there. So now I'm just kind of fairing this out. There's a little gap right here. I got to trim all this down. And then I'm going to sand this up. And um, then I'll do my final fairing on it. So it's, uh, it's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, this I epoxy this thing together. This is actually two half inch. So it's a whole inch. The motor is going to sit right there. The brackets will go right there. So this is the transom. All right. We get to cutting. That's fairly fair. Sand that down. That's what do. We're all pretty happy. So, like I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, I use uh, West System 105 epoxy resin and I use the 206 hardener, which is the um, medium hardener. It gets about 20 minutes down to 90 degree weather. So, that's the system I use. Um, one thing, I spring for these.